Hey, Rick, thanks for coming. <laughs> Tonight I'm going to read Holy Scripture to you and let you discover for yourself, as I did in my study, that all that was once old is again new. All the struggles that you once endure were once felt by the greatest of those in our Bible. All that brings you joy and happiness long ago filled our forefathers in Scripture, at first with contentment, then with pride. All that now brings you fear was once hidden in the darkest rooms of our minds in the, of our long ago forebears and allowed them to finally submit to the will of our Holy Lord and find a path back to happiness. Please allow me to open with prayer. O oh Lord, give me the ability to speak without twisting my tongue. Let me talk without losing my place. Let others hear my words as you would have them told. Amen. Amen. There is a cycle as old as creation itself that runs from scarcity to plenty and back to scarcity. From humility to pride to self-adoration to destruction, and then finally back to worship. King David wrote the book of Psalms during his reign over Israel, sometime around 1,000 years before Christ was born. The Israelites always seemed to go in cycles from being happy to messing everything up, to being punished by God, and then finally being redeemed by the Lord to start the cycle all over again. Follow along with me as I read from most of chapter 107 in the book of Psalms. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord tell their story. Those he redeemed from the hand of the foe, those he gathered from lands, from east and west, from north and south. Some wandered in desert wastelands, finding no way to a city where they could settle. They were hungry and thirsty, and their lives ebbed away. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He led them by a straight way to a city where they could settle. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. For he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. Let me stop for a moment. Are you starting to get the point? My dad says that I don't always see what is so obvious, so I'll try to point out what I read into the scripture. First, let's start out with a good foundation. The Apostle Paul tells us in the book of Timothy, 1 Timothy, that all scripture is God-breathed and useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. That means that this is for you. Don't let this go in one ear and out the other. God has breathed his word to David. David has recorded it. It has been interpreted and passed down to you tonight. David is not only talking about the Israelites, but is also sending a message to you and me through these thousands of years. God is good and his love will endure forever. Even through our stubbornness and sin, God will deliver his people in the end. God's people will not be left in the desert, but taken care of. Okay, here's a little more from King David. Some sat in darkness, in utter darkness, prisoners suffering in iron chains because they rebelled against God's commands and despised the plans of the Most High. So he subjected them to bitter labor, they stumbled, and there was no one to help. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He brought them out of darkness, the utter darkness, and broke away their chains. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. For he breaks down gates of bronze and cuts through bars of iron. Some became fools through their rebellious ways and suffered affliction because, because of their inequities. 
they loathed all food and drew near the gates of death. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. Why does it know we are talking about here? Let's not all pretend that we don't all hear the obvious. I might be young, but I can still hear the Lord speaking. The people of God, in this case, the Israelites, sin and they fall away from God. At this point, they are punished. It happened over and over again and dates back all the way to Adam and Eve. Are we to pretend that the generations of today are any different? God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Good does not always mean easy, though. Continue to walk in the path of the Lord. Please do not be arrogant enough to think that we are the only generation that does not have to pay for our sins. Now one more time back to the good book. He sent out his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. He let, let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Let them offer sacrifices of thanksgiving and tell of his works with songs of joy. He turned rivers into a desert, flowing springs into thirsty ground, and fruitful land into a salt waste because of the wickedness of the people who lived there. He turned the desert pools into waters of he turned the desert into pools of water and the parched ground into flowing springs. There he brought the hungry to live, and they founded a city where they could settle. They sowed fields and planted vineyards that yielded a fruitful harvest. He blessed them, and their numbers greatly increased, and he did not let their herds diminish. Then their numbers decreased, and they were humbled by oppression, calamity, and sorrow. He who pours contempt on nobles made them wander in a trackless waste. But he lifted the needy out of their affliction and increased their families like flocks. The upright see and rejoice, but the wicked shut their mouths. Let the one who is wise heed these things and ponder the loving deeds of the Lord. It is time for closing. Hear the word of the Lord. Be wise and sinless. Do not search for a reward on this earth or set yourself above others, but be like Christ and become a servant of mankind. For your reward will be great for eternity. Do not hate. Love those that hate. Do not seek the adoration of man, for above all you have God himself that loves you unendingly. God will bring down the high and lift up the low. In the end, God is good all the time. And together we say, all, all the, the time, time, God, God is, is good. good. God bless each and every one of you. And thank you, Morgan, for the blessing of allowing me to speak tonight.